Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25211. In this video, as always, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed, and what is fixed in this new Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is quite exciting if you ask me. You're gonna see in just a moment what I'm referring to. So if you enjoy videos like these where we talk about different Windows 11 Insider preview builds, new updates, and so on, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, we have an update regarding the widget section, and this is an update that is slowly rolling out to Windows Insiders. It is not automatically rolled out to all Windows Insiders, but you're going to have screenshots of what I'm talking about. So Microsoft is separating the widgets picker and widget settings to make it easier for you to find and interact with each view. Now the widget picker is opened by the plus button and widget settings is opened up by the me button. And also when you click widget settings by clicking on the me button, you will see three taskbar behaviors that you can toggle on or off. You can control whether the widgets port opens when you hover over the taskbar icon. You can control whether widgets will show notification badging on the taskbar. And also you can control whether live widgets content on the taskbar shows more than weather. This is quite interesting. If I find a way to manually enable this, I'm going to show you in a different video. But I think that's an interesting change that we finally have some settings for the widgets section. Now we have one of the most exciting things in this build, and that is that Microsoft Microsoft added task manager back to the context menu when right clicking on the taskbar. For me, this is not automatically enabled. I don't know why. If I find out why or a manual way to enable this, I'm going to show you in a different video, of course, but you're going to see on the screen some screenshots of how that looks. And this is really nice because we are used to from Windows 11 to right click on the taskbar and then click on task manager, not right click on the start menu and then click on task manager. Of course, there are workarounds for this, but I think this is quite an exciting thing that Microsoft is working on and implementing. Regarding the system tray, Microsoft is improving the rearranging system for the system tray icons, and they also add further improvements for this experience soon in future builds. Regarding the File Explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue where the top part of File Explorer with a search and an address box couldn't be interacted with when File Explorer was in full screen mode, so now that is fixed. And also, Microsoft is reminding us that in the settings app, in the apps, and then installed apps section, you won't be able to uninstall apps with inner dependencies such as Steam and gaming apps running on Steam. Another new update is the new Outlook for Windows 11. If you are in the Insider Preview Builds for Office, you're going to be able to see the new Outlook for Windows. You're going to have some images here from Microsoft. I think the new Outlook looks really good. If someone uses the Outlook app on Windows 11, good news, we will have also an update for that. Also, Microsoft is rolling out an update for the Snipping Tools app, which will allow us to automatically save our screenshots so we can recall them later. This is actually really nice. So to install this new update, go into library in the Microsoft Store and then click on get updates to install all the latest updates for certain apps for the Microsoft Store and also for this new update of Snipping Tools, which is version 11.220920. And it's really nice that Snipping Tools will now be able to automatically save your screenshots. So now in the Snipping Tools, if you open it and if you have it updated, we're going to see that Snipping Tool automatically saves your screenshots. Your screenshots will be saved to your screenshots folder within your pictures folder. You can click on got it. And for example, let's make a new screenshot, Windows Shift plus S. I'm going to make it and my screenshot should be automatically saved into the screenshots folder here. As you can see, it is automatically saved and that is really, really good. Of course, we have a whole bunch of fixes in this build. For example, regarding the file explorer, they fixed the issue where the command bar items like copy, paste and empty recycle bin were unexpectedly not be enabled sometimes when they have been. They fixed an issue which was causing unexpected black bars on the sides of horizontal scroll bars when using dark mode. Regarding the sort menu, when you have start set to show more pinned items, the animation for opening folders lower on the page will now appear from the right place. Regarding the taskbar, they fixed a high hitting shell experience host crash in recent dev channel builds, impacting quick settings long reliability. And they also fixed quite a few things in settings. They fixed the settings crash, which could happen when changing your mobile hotspot name. They also updated the examples used in the short time selection under time and language, language and region, and also region format. Regarding the task manager, they, they tweaked the graphs in the performance space to show a bit more transparency so it's easier to see the grid lines underneath. They also made another fix to improve task manager reliability. They fixed a black flash that might be seen when launching task manager in light mode. They also fixed a few issues where the font color of certain elements wasn't correct slash readable when using a contrast theme. So there are other fixes that I didn't talk about but you can find the whole list of fixes in the article below in the description also with the known issues in this build. This was the build for today. I think 
think this is a really exciting build. Don't forget that I'm gonna come up with different videos if I find ways to enable the widget settings and also the task manager button from the taskbar right click. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from Tech Base. Until next time, have a nice day.